Hello there and welcome to the June 2019 paper. Here we're looking at question 14, the final question on this paper. 15 marks, so it's going to be a big one. So use a substitution of u equals 4 minus root h to show that this integral equals um, this expression here. Well, this first integral here looks a little bit um, in a strange form. You could effectively write this as 1 over 4 minus root h dh. Um, they've just moved the dh onto the top. So now we're going to substitute with u equals 4 minus root h. So let's substitute it in then. So it's going to be 1 over u. But then dh will still be there. So we need to now somehow get rid of dh and replace it with a du. So let's give that a go. So first thing I might do is write this in a differentiable form. And now let's differentiate it. So it's going to be du by dh equals 4 differentiates to 0. And it's going to be minus a half h to the minus a half. Now we need to rearrange this to get dh. So if I move the dh onto the other side and move all of this stuff onto the left, it's going to be minus 2 from timesing by 2. And then timesing by h to the half will be h to the half du. But we all know that we can replace um, h to the half with, if we rearrange it from this point here, um, h to the half equals 4 minus u. So what I'm going to be putting in here is minus 2 times 4 minus u du. That's our equivalent expression for dh. So dh now is going to be replaced by, multiplied by minus 2, 4 minus u du. Okay, so let's block that bit off there. So now we've got to integrate this expression here. So let's give this a go then. Let's factorise the minus 2 to the front. And it's going to be 4 minus u over u du. Let's now split these up into two separate fractions. So it's going to be 4 over u minus u over u du. u over u, that's just 1, isn't it? Anything over itself is just 1. So it's 4 over u minus 1 du. And now we'll integrate. So it's going to be minus 2 brackets. Uh, this integral here will be 4 ln u. And then 1 integrated will just be minus u. And then that will be plus c. Right, so now if I just uh, rub out these bits here, just so I've got more space. I wouldn't rub it out in an actual exam, obviously. I just need to quickly get some more space um, to write down the next bit of the solution. I'll just carry on down the page. So let's carry on now. So therefore, if we now carry on, it's going to be minus 2. So actually, if we expand the brackets now, equals minus 8 ln. Now, u is going to be substituted in. Now, u is equal to 4 minus root h. And then minus, actually, it will be plus by the time we expand the negative plus two lots of u, and u is 4 minus root h, um, and then we'll put plus c. Now, this isn't still quite what we've got from above. Um, we'll have minus 8 ln modulus 4 minus root h, and then we've not got the... Um, the 8 here, but what we'll do then is if we expand the brackets, so it'll be plus 8 minus 2 root h plus c, and then what we'll do with the plus c is if we group together the c and the 8, and say then that k equals c plus 8, that's still a constant then, c plus 8 will still be a constant, we'll just call that constant k, so it's going to be minus 8 ln 4 minus root h minus 2 root h plus k, and that's still the answer to this integral here. So with that constant term there, you can just group it together with the constant term here and just call it a different constant term. We might call it k. So there we are. That's the answer for part A. Then let's now move on to part B. So a team of scientists is studying a species of slow-growing tree. The rate of change in height of the tree um, of a species is modelled by this differential equation, where h is the height in metres and t is the time, measured in years after the tree has been planted. Find, according to the model, the range of the height of the trees in this species. 
So what we need to look at is the um, the range of the height of the trees. So the range of the height of the trees, by the fact that the trees don't shrink, um, 4 minus root h is going to have to be greater than 0. Um, so because the trees don't shrink, yeah, that, that makes sense, doesn't it, that uh, this expression here must be greater than 0 because time will always be positive as well. So if we write 4 is greater than or equal to root h, and then square both sides, we're going to get 8 is, so not 8, 16 is greater than h. So the height is always going to be less than 16 metres. So therefore, the height is less than 16 metres. Okay, and that all started from the fact that we... Um, said that we well, suppose that 4 minus root h has to be positive because therefore if it were negative then that would refer to the height of the tree decreasing um, or effectively if we find the, the maximum point of the rate of growth we set it equal to zero where the solution is 16 so the tree won't go higher than 16. Okay so there we are so um or in fact, could it equal 16? Yeah, I suppose it could equal 16 if when it that's absolutely when it stops. Okay, let's move now on to uh, part C. One of these trees is one meter high when it is first planted. So well, that's when t equals zero, h equals one. According to the model, calculate the first time this tree would reach a height of 12 meters, giving your answer to three significant figures. Okay, well, what this is effectively asking us to do is to solve this differential equation. So it's going to be dh by dt equals t to the 0 0.25 um, 4 minus root h over 20. Okay, so let's give this a go then. So we need to multiply things onto the other side. So um, we're going to divide the 4 minus h onto the other side and times the dt onto the other side. So it's going to be 1 over... 4 minus root h uh, dh equals t 0.25 over 20 uh, dt. So what I've done from this to this is I've divided by this expression here and I've times by this expression here up onto the other side. So those two bits have had to move. The next thing I'm now going to do is I'm now going to integrate both sides, and I can just bung in the integral symbols like that. Now we know what the integral on the left-hand side is going to be. It's going to be minus 8 ln 4 minus root h um, minus 2 root h plus k. Uh, so we'll put the k on the left-hand side, I suppose, in this expression here. We only, When you integrate um, a thing like this, you only have to put the constant on one side. Now with this integral here, we're going to increase the power by 1 and then divide by the new power. So if this is a quarter, it's now going to be 5 over 4. And then divide by that 5 over 4, so that's times by 4 over 5. So that's going to make it 4 over 100 or 1 over 25. Now we've put the constant on this side, so we don't need to put it on the right-hand side. Now the next thing to do is substitute in our boundaries. So when t equals 0 h equals 1. Uh, to, we, the reason we do this is to work out what this value k is. So it's going to be minus 8 ln of uh, root h is 1, so 4 minus 1 is 3, minus 2 uh, times the root of h, root of 1, that's just going to be 1, so it's just minus 2 uh, plus k equals, and substitute t equals 0 in, that's 0. So therefore, k is going to be 8 um, ln 3 plus 2. So there we are. That's the answer for k. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to the next slide, recalling this formula here with k substituted in there. OK, so this is the formula here. So now we need to find the time when the height of the tree is 12 metres. So let's now plug in h equals 12 into this formula. So it's going to be minus 8 ln 4 minus root 12 minus 2 root 12 
plus eight ln three plus two um, equals one over 25 t to the power of five over four. Now what I might suggest is working this out on the left hand side and then timesing by 25. And if we do all of that and we times by 25 as well, we get t to the power of five over four equals 221 approximately, dot, 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 dot. Now let's um, raise this all to the power of four. So that will give us t to the power of five equals um, quite a long number here. Let's just write it all out. Two, three, nine, seven, five, three, four, six, oh, seven. And then the final thing to do will be to work out the fifth root of it. Uh, so therefore, t is going to be 75.2 years to three significant figures. And there we are. That's the answer for this question here. So it takes quite a long time to get up to 12 meters. And 12 meters is quite high, though, isn't it? So yeah, 75 years. So there we are. That's the answer for question 14 here. That's 15 marks. It's worth. So let's now maybe move on to the applied paper and give that one a go.